Three hungry players, one mean machine. So, will it be feast or famine today? Let's find out on Tippy Point. Hello and welcome to Tipping Point. Three players will be facing our machine and they're all hoping to win thousands today. So, let's meet them. I'm Dan, a teacher from South Wales. I'm Prabs, a security officer from Berkshire. I'm Ken, a retired clinical hypnotherapist from Nottingham. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. So, in round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. Now, they choose to play one of your counters into the machine. Or if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will add £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which, of course, come with a bonus prize. But also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those falls for you, it will double the entire value of your drop. And should one fall with a jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. Now, all three of you will be going through to round two, but you'll want to bank as much money as you can throughout the game to keep an eye on those double counters, because they could make all the difference. Everybody ready? Yep. Hands on your buzzers, here comes your first question. Which day of the week most commonly comes before the word roast to give the name of a traditional... Prabs. Sunday. Traditional British meal. It is a Sunday roast, Prabs. Yes, nicely done. So, would you like to play or pass the first counter? Um, I will play. OK, where do you want to put it? I will play number four. Drop zone four? Yes, please. Drop zone four. Please. Right, then, let's see how we can get on here. Ooh, oh. rolls and settles over towards the double, which could be good. Gonna go flat? Go flat. Yes, nice and flat. Couple over the top shelf. Tipping point looks like it's ready too, perhaps. Be nice. I hope so. Anything going here? Oh, anything. Oh. Lovely stuff. Well done. Stop. Three counters for you there, Prabs. £150 across the tipping points. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. So get you off the mark. Well done on £150. You've still got two counters left to play. OK, here's your next question. In Rudyard Kipling's The Jungle Book, the character Baloo is what type of wild animal? Dan. Bear. He is a bear, yes. Right, Dan, your choice now. Would you like to play or pass? I'll play, please, Ben. Where are you going to go? Uh, I'll go drop some four, please. Let's have four, please. Oh, lovely again. That one's yours, Stan. You were in the machine, so that counts. That's how close it was to going for Prab. Oh, oh I think now you get, get a double more. shove here as well. The double could go. Is it going to go? Oh, it's going to get close. Nice. Dan, four counters for you. Well done. £200. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. It's going to sneak you ahead of Prab. It's a very tidy start for you. And you've still got two counters left as well. Here's your next question Which three letter word comes before Hampshire and Jersey? Ken. You. To give the names of two northeastern US states. Yeah, New Hampshire and New Jersey. Well done, Ken. You got straight in there. Keen to get involved. Do you want to play? I'll play, please. Where do you want to go? Four again, please. Drop zone four. It's got to be, surely. Fire up four, please. Here we go. Rattles down and settles well. That could be very nice. Come on, come on. Yes, the double's close, Ken. Are we going to get it? I think you'll get it. What do you think, Ken? Oh, he got it. Yeah. Oh, oh, Ken! Oh, oh. <laughs> that's so cool. Oh, oh, Ken, we can see it oh, in so the close. machine. Oh. Desperate to drop, but it needs a little bit more help. So nothing from your first drop, I'm afraid. Next question. In 2020, Nadim Sahawi was appointed as a minister in the Department of Health and Social Care by which Conservative Prime Minister? Dan. Boris Johnson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2020. Yes, Dan. <laughs> Boris Johnson. <laughs> yeah. in, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, Dan, would you like to play? Yes, please, Ben. Drops on four, will it be? Drops on four, please. Fire it up, please. Go. Ken very nicely left the double for you. But is the top shelf going to go? Yes, it is. Double gonna go. Will the mystery get there? Oh, it does. Oh, nice <laughs> job, Dan. Wow. Dan, very nicely done. 350 pounds, seven counters across the tipping points. 
But of course, one of them's the double, so we can double up and give you another £350. And a very tasty £700. We can take and put it into a bank. It's going to leave you on £900. And one of those counters is a mystery counter as well, so you've won yourself a prize, which is a champagne afternoon tea for two at the Royal Crescent in Bath. Oh, lovely. Very Thank smart, Dan. Very, very, nice. very much. Indeed. <laughs> Cracking prize and your £900. Still got one counter left to play as well. OK, here's your next question. In a term for a period of time when football clubs can buy and sell players, what word typically precedes window? Dan. Transfer. Transfer's right, yes. So, one more counter to go in. Do you want to play or do you want to pass? I'll play people then. OK, where do you want to go? I think I'll go drop zone three. Let's have drop zone three, please. So, let's see. Tipping point looks strong. Not being in the top shelf either. Last counter, Dan, so we'd like it to be a good one. Just a steady, slow drop. It doesn't ride. I don't think it will. Perhaps thinks it's OK. It is, yes. Could get that mystery moving forward. And then going over the top shelf. Nearly. Wow. Oh, that silver one's on the verge. I think they're set it up stay. nicely for somebody. You have <laughs> set it up nicely. <laughs> Returning the favour to Ken. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, Ken. <laughs> so, Dan, nothing from your final counter. You have got yourself £900 for the time being, though. You are out. Okay. So, Prabs and Ken, you've both got two counters left to play each. This next question is for you two. In which 1992 film does Whoopi Goldberg play a nightclub singer called Dolores Prabs? Sister Act. Dolores Van Cartier, who poses as a nun. It is Sister Act, and a wonderful film it is, too. Perhaps are you going to play? Yes, please. Where would you like to go? Drop Zone 3, please. Drop Zone 3 it is. Oh. Slams down. That's surely going to take out Dan. Yes, so. it does. Now, can they help on the tipping point? It's not been oh. broken yet. They can. Four counters for you there, perhaps, including the one that jumped out of the machine. £200, let's take it and put it into your bank. So that's going to put you on £350. You've still got one counter left to play as well. Here's your next question for Prabs and for Ken. Let Me Entertain You was a 1998 hit for which former Take That singer, Prabs? Robbie Williams. Yeah, Robbie Williams is absolutely right. Well done, Prabs. So, you've got one counter left to play. Would you like to give it a go or would you like to pass to Ken? I'd like to play, please. OK, where are you going to go? Um, drop Zone 3, please. Drop Zone 3 it is. They're dangling right on the edge, aren't they, Prabs? Oh, Oh, no, 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 no. Flat, Didn't please. settle. <laughs> Timing a little off, but I think you'll get away with it if it goes flat. Yes, it has. There's a nice little cabal of counters between three and four there. Come on. And oh. yes, well over the top shelf works nicely. And the bottom. Oh. Ooh, nudge two in. Those other ones are going to cling on, but let's give you £100 for those two prabs. Thank you. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. It's going to leave you on £450. You have now used all three counters, so for the time being, you are out. Right, Ken, we come to you. It's just you left in now, so you don't need your buzzer. You do need to give me the correct answer to both these questions to put these counters into the machine. Here we go then, Ken, your first one. The first Battle of St Albans in 1455 marked the beginning of a series of conflicts known as the Wars of the Watch. Roses. Yes, nicely done, Ken. Let's get you some money. Where do you want to start? Um, I've got to stick with three, I Yeah, think. they're dangling over the edge. Let's have drop zone three. Sort of top shelf that's very full. Bottom in the middle, it's a bit sparse. Yes, that's a nice spot. That tipping point looks good there, doesn't it? Flat, though. Perfect place. Oh, I think that's it'll a really go. nice place. Dan thinks it's good. <laughs> we want as many as we can over the top. Hey. Yes. And they spread nicely. Get you in the game here, Ken. No! Oh, 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 oh. oh. One drops in there. It's £50 for that one. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank, Ken. It gets you off the mark. Still got one more counter. Again, you need to give me the correct answer to put this counter into the machine. Here's your question. According to an advertising slogan for Burger King, it takes two hands to handle which type of burger? Big Whopper. Ken, I can't accept okay. Big Whopper. Brilliant. I'm afraid it's just a Whopper, and the phrase that they use is it takes two hands to handle a Whopper. Oh, OK. We have to steal that last counter from you. That's gone into the penalty box. <laughs> so, as things stand, 
Dan is leading with £900. Perhaps has £450. Ken's got just £50 in the bank. But it's not over. We have one counter up for grabs in the penalty pots. I'm going to ask you all one more question. If you buzz in and give me the correct answer, you put this counter into the machine. If you buzz in and give me the wrong answer, you will be frozen out. We could really do with getting this back, Ken, because we need to try and close the gap on the other two, if possible. Good luck, everybody. Here comes your penalty pot question. The word male is an anagram of the name of which African country? Ken? Mali. It is Mali. Well done. So you've won your whopper back. Hey, thank right, you. Right, let's see if we can get you right. some counters. We need to close this gap if we can. What are you thinking? Uh, two, I think. Drop something two this time? Um, no, three's overhanging. Let's go for three, sorry. <laughs> There's more overhanging on three. Definitely? Yeah. Right, we're going to go for drop zone three, please. <laughs> Take your time, Ken. You always get one, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> we do, yeah. <laughs> right, come on, let's get you some. We want more than one. No! Oh, oh, Ken! Ken! Ken. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, all that trauma and tension. Oh, cruel. Very cool. Those three counters on the top of drop zone three are very close to going, Ken, but they're just staying where they are. So I'm afraid you won the penalty pot. But the scores stay as they were, which means Dan is leading with £900. Prabs is in second with £450. Ken has £50 in the bank. So join us after the break to see which of today's three players will win through to our head-to-head -head and a shot at a £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Dan, Brabs and Ken are battling it out for the right to play for today's chatbot. In this round, they'll each have 45 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will give them a counter to play into the machine. However, this time, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leading the game. Dan, you have the lead after round one, so it's your choice. You can play first if you think that the machine is looking ready. Alternatively, you could ask Prabs or Ken to play. Um, I think I'll go first, please, okay. Dan. 45 yeah. seconds for you, Dan. Every time you get a question right, I'll give you a counter. If you don't know, just say pass, OK? 45 seconds for Dan, please. Your time starts now. In English, DEC is a written abbreviation for which month of the year? December. Correct. A hexahedron is a shape that has how many plain faces? Six. Correct. Which American actor plays Robert the Bruce in the 2018 film Outlaw King? Pass. Chris Pine. First broadcast in 2021, the ITV crime drama series Grace is based on a book series by which writer? Pass. Peter James. Which word most commonly follows lima and kidney to give the names of two legumes used in cooking? Pass. Bean. What does an archer principally carry in a container called a quiver? Arrows. Correct. Which bright coloured climbing plant is named after the French explorer Louis Antoine de Bourgainville? Vine. Bourgainvillea. Which European capital city was formerly known as Christiania before it was renamed in 1925? It was Oslo. OK. Oslo. Dan, we got three correct answers in there. Yep. Three counters put into the machine, so three chances to try and extend your lead if you can. Where would you like to start? I think drops on three has still got quite a few hanging over the top, so I think I'll go for drops on three, please. Yeah, let's do it. Fire up three, please. There's that little collection that Ken left you. Again, yeah, it's just the left. leaving them to Dan, Ken. This is very careless or generous. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, yeah, now, right. nice spot oh. if it goes flat. Oh, it's flat. Would it be a bit cheeky and ride on you? Ooh. Oh, oh. it did ride, but that's how close that was to going. Oh. Oh, okay. Gonna get the benefit though. Just slides into the set, and it's riding up. Okay, it's a shame. Okay, two to go though, Dan. Okay, drops on three, please, Ben. Three again. Two right in the middle, isn't it? That we're looking at on the top shelf. Mm, wrong side, probably. Could be okay. Bit of lateral on it. But yeah, that's yeah, how they were. Yeah, that's okay. Is the tipping point good though? I'm not sure. Ooh, nice. <laughs> three counters dropping <laughs> for you. Come from there. <laughs> Over in three and four. Hundred fifty pounds. One more to go in, Dan. I'll drop on three, please, Ben. Three again. Spaces on that top shelf you want to navigate if you can. Ooh, now. Oh, bang in the middle. Bang in the middle, right yep. where that space is settled. That's there. a ride, isn't it? Well, you got away with it, it's not riding, but. I don't think there's anything going to come over. No. You need a good squeeze on that silver counter. Is it going to be enough, though? Go for yes, it. Yes, just well done. And hopefully we'll get some here. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, well done. <laughs> wow. I got the light today, I think, haven't I? <laughs> Nine more, Dan. So a nice finish. Takes you up to £600 in the machine. Let's take that and put it into your bank, and that's going to leave you £1,500. Right then, Prabs, you are ahead of Ken, so it's your choice. You could play next if you think the machine's ready. If not, you could ask Ken to play for you. I think I'll just go for it and play. OK. <laughs> 45 seconds for Prabs, please. Your time starts now. What was the first name of the 40th US President Reagan? Ronald. Correct. The 2001 novel Black House was co-written by Peter Straub and which horror writer? Stephen King. Correct. Which small armoured creatures are the only living family belonging to the singularata order of mammals? Pass. Armadillos. The corpus callosum is a thick band of nerve fibres located in the centre of which organ of the human body? Teeth. The brain. A statue at Wimbledon's All England Tennis Club depicts Fred Perry holding what piece of sports equipment in his right hand? Racket. Correct. Which classic sitcom features characters called Bishop Brennan and fathers Dick Byrne and Brian Eno? Dad's Army. Father Ted. The ski resort of Zermatt is in which European country? Switzerland. Correct. Which cocktail consisting of apple juice, rum and vermouth shares its name with a... Out of time on this. Shares its name with a Haitian religion involving magic and ritual. The cocktail is called voodoo. a... Voodoo. Voodoo. Yes. Uh, out of time, unfortunately, perhaps. You did get four right, though. The corpus callosum, located in the centre of which organ of the human body? Teeth, perhaps. I just panicked. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? You don't need it, because four is a good return. So four counts put into the machine. Where would you like to start? Um, I'll pick drop zone two, please. Let's move to two, please. what we can do here then, perhaps. Bouncing around, there's lots of ricochets on the way down. It's going to be flat. Yeah, nice and flat, though. That could come and nudge the double forward, which could be good. And very handy, because Dan's got a decent lead. Yes! Oh, that's nice, too. Going to stay on it? Yeah, good double shove. Oh, nice. Very nice, good start. Six across the tipping point, perhaps, to get you going. £300. Well done. Three more to go in. Um, drop zone two again, please. Two again. Black counter going to cause you a problem? No. Nope. You're nice and flat again. So hopefully get that little stack on the right down. Yes. Nice. Two of them go over there. And they keep Come chipping on. away at Dan's lead. Come <laughs> on, no. Oh, <laughs> <set up my laughs> sword. Nudging them forward. Teasingly, perhaps. Yep. Nothing goes. So, two more to go. I'll stick with drop zone two again, please. Two again, babe. please. A bit further left for that double would be nice. Oh. Quicker drop. <laughs> what do you think, perhaps? I don't know. It might not be enough. No. Oh. <laughs> Can oh, that that's hang on? Cruel. It looks like it's steadied itself there. Just it being has, pinned. Yeah. So you've got one more to put in, perhaps. I'm going to have to stick with drop zone two and hope for the best. Okay. One last <laughs> hit, please. Light up drop zone two. Slams down. Now that's more on target for double. That silver counter oh. finally gave up. Don't think it's going to oh. do. No. But as it is. <laughs> cool. It's all set for you, Ken. <laughs> yes, yeah. haven't you just cruel. done a great job? But not for you just yet, perhaps, I'm afraid. It's just the £300. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. It's going to leave you on £750. Okay. Right, Ken. <laughs> great chance for you now. 45 seconds for Ken, please. Your time starts now. What colour follows Gordon to give the name of the former Labour Prime Minister? Brown. Correct. The village of Moree and the surrounding area known for its fortified wines is in which European country? France. Correct. In 1962, Francis Crick and James Watson won a Nobel Prize for discovering the molecular structure of what? <sighs> Pass. DNA. The 2021 UK Top Ten album, Who Am I?, is by which Manchester band? Sorry. Pale Nicholas. Waves. A condiment set marked with the letters S and P traditionally contains salt and which other seasoning? Pepper. Correct. The prairie style of architecture is characteristic of which country? Greece. America. Andrew Scott plays Colonel John Parry in which BBC TV series based on novels by Philip Pullman? No, sorry. His Dark Materials. Oh, Ken, Ooh, three dear. correct answers. Oh, dear. We've got three counters. Now, Prabs, very obliging. Usually yeah, it's you I'm... leaving them for Dan. Thank you. But it's <laughs> Prabs who's left them for you. Thank you. So where would you like to put your I first counter? I think two, possibly. Let's do, do it. <laughs> I think that's right. <laughs> Drop zone two, please. <laughs> it's 
So we have 14 counters to catch Prabs, which That's is seven all. with the double. Absolutely. Thought Horrible it. ricochet it drops. So Thought slow. About it for a while, didn't it? Come on, get flat. It is flat though. And we want that forward because oh, that's going to be right on it. Yeah. And a couple more. Oh yes, a nice broad shove. As many as possible if that double's going to go. Oh, great right stuff. <laughs> Seven across the tipping point, 350 pounds. And of course, we can double it up and give you another 350 pounds. So you're up to 700 pounds in the machine. That draws you level with Prabs. Whoa. Two more to go in. What now? Um, I think three, actually. You're yeah. going to shift to three? There's a few hanging over. All right. Let's go for it. Drop zone three, please. Hammers down. Good settle. We just need one more to go through and send perhaps home. You're gonna get them? Well, that, oh, was, that was a really good draw. Five more, Ken. Now oh. we're on the way. 250 oh. pounds. We're getting there. Yeah. Up to 950. We've got one more to put in. Gosh. So what do you fancy doing with this one? Have a good look. What looks good now? I think back to four, actually. Drop zone four? Yeah. Please. Let's do drop zone four, please. Thanks, Ben. Right, last one. Real Dan in now. That could be good between three and four. There's a few, isn't there? Come on now. Anything going to go for you here? Yeah, that little stack would be nice. Are they going to get enough? Oh, oh, sadly <laughs> not. No, nothing more to add. But you'd got enough to send you through. Let's take £950 from the machine and put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, leading with £1,500 is Dan. Ken goes through with £1,000. Prabs, I'm so sorry. That means with £750 we have found a team point. Thank you so much for playing. Thank you. I've had a great day. Good luck, guys. Okay. Thank you, Prabs. You've been lovely. Thanks. So it is Dan and Ken who will be going head-to-head -head after the break for the right to play for our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a couple of minutes. Welcome back to Tipping Point. We have just two players remaining, Dan and Ken. Well done to both of you for getting this far. We're about to find out which one of you is going to take on the machine for our jackpot today. Uh, you got yourself in the game finally, Ken. Yes. <laughs> Taking a while. Eventually. <laughs> There's a bit of work to be done, but certainly sure. enough money in the machine to try and overhaul Dan's lead. Fine. Best of luck to both of you. OK, thank you. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately on your question. You can choose to answer, or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put the counter into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the counter into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner. Dan, you're still leading, so you get to choose. Would you like the first question, or would you like to offer it to Ken? I'll take the first question, please, Ben. First question for you, Dan. Which actor competed in the 2021 series of The Masked Singer disguised as a bush baby? And you can pass this to Ken if you're not sure. Um, I did watch a bit of it. Ooh. Do you remember the bush baby? I do, but I can't think who was in, who was under the mask. So I think I'm going to have to pass to Ken. Sorry. Ken, did you watch really? the mask singer? No, I haven't actually. And I haven't got a clue. But OK, so we need an, answer, uh, not. an actor. Um, I can't, you, um, an actor, just any actor. Yeah. <laughs> Um, or you could just make up a name. Peter Worth. Peter Worth. Uh, Dan, has it come to mind while Ken was struggling? Um, I can remember Lenny Henry being in it. Remember Lenny Henry being in it? Yeah. I can't think of anybody else okay. on top of my head, so... Let's see. Ken, <laughs> finally gave me Peter Worth. Let's see if it's right. Was it Peter Worth? No, no, no. no it was John Thompson. Oh. Right, Dan. Uh, you get the counter. Well done. Where do you want to put it? There's still the most hanging over the top of drop zone four. There's a few gaps, but I think... That's the best at the moment. So cool. drops on four, please. Four, please. Go. Steady drop on that Slide right hand across. side. Is that the side you wanted it? I think you'll be all right. But yep. I would have preferred to the left. Bit of a gap at the back. Maybe one. A little much. Mm. Yeah, oh, just squeeze that one out. Well take it over. 50 pounds. Let's take it. Put it into your bank. Put it on £1,550. Ken, we come to you. Time for your first question. Founded in 1615, the beer brand Grolsch originates from which European country? You can pass to Dan if you don't want to answer it. If you're not sure. Grolsch. Holland. Going to answer it? Yeah. Going with Holland. OK. Dan, what would you have said? 
I don't know, Holland or Denmark, maybe? Holland or Denmark, maybe. Let's see if I you're right. I just felt I had to go for it. That's we all. need yeah. this, Kent. We do. Let's see if you're right. Is the answer Holland? Yeah, it is. Well done. It's the Netherlands, but of course we can accept Holland. Named after the town, it was first brewed, Grolla. Hey, nice Dutch accent, that, wasn't it? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Ken, we've got a count. Let's get you some money. Uh, one, please. Drop some one. Let's do it. Like that. Ooh, done with that settling. We've not used drop someone yet, so there's a lot there. We've got it flat. Oh, OK. We can squeeze some into the corner here. We need to start chipping away at Dan's lead, if possible, Ken. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah, there we go. Ooh. Get these two silver ones it's on the edge. It's a bit light there, isn't it? Mm. Oh, it's better now. Right, Dan, we come back to you. Time for your yep. second question. After the fall of the Berlin Wall, in which year did a united Germany first compete in the Summer Olympic Games? You can pass um, it to Ken if you're not sure. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to pass. Sorry, you're passing it. Right, sure, Ken. Yeah. Great chance here. Now, what year did it fall? What are you thinking? 74. 74? Yeah. OK. Dan, when did you think it fell? I was going to say 1990 Olympics, something around 1990 around then. Yeah. So you think it happened, it <laughs> fell way after. Let's see if you're right, Ken. Was it 1974? No, it wasn't. It fell in 1989, oh, Ken. Wow. And so it was the Barcelona Olympics in 92. Yeah. Dan, you get the counter. Where do you want to put it? Sorry, Ken, I think you set me up again. So <laughs> drop zone one, please. Let's do drop zone one. Oh, oh again, wouldn't it settle? Ride. It does feel like it might. That black counter could cause you a problem. Oh, no, you're okay. You're okay. Yeah. Sorted. Now, if something wants to come over the top shelf, yeah. as ever, Ken set you up beautifully. Oh. Oh, but no. Return the favour. Can to stay there. Right, Ken, we come to you. Great chance here. Time for your second question. On Vogue teamed up with which rap duo to perform a version of their 1990s hit, What a Man, in the 2021 film Coming to America? Have you watched it? I haven't, okay. and I've absolutely no idea. <laughs> I'm ever so sorry, but I've no idea. Are you going to pass it over then? Oh, so I'm going to pass it. Um, the only thing I can think of is Run DMC. Run DMC, you have to give me something. Yeah. Ken, you weren't sure either, so let's find out. Is the answer Run DMC? No, it was Salt and Pepper. Salt and Pepper. I wouldn't go that. Ken, you get the counter. Brilliant. Let's take advantage of it. Where do yep. you want to go? Uh, one, please. Drop some one. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> Got it spinning and settling down. We need something over the that. top shelf. Yes. Ooh. Now, what can we do? Oh, they spread very nicely. That's Ooh. very, very Ooh. nice indeed, Ken. You need 11 counts to catch Dan, and that is 11 across the tipping point. Ooh. That drop right there, 550 pounds, changes everything. Let's put it into your bank. And suddenly there is nothing between the two of you <laughs> with just two counters and two questions remaining. Yep. Dan, we come back to you. Time for your third and final question. Okay. In David Cameron's first cabinet as Prime Minister, who was appointed Home Secretary? You can pass this to Ken if you're not sure. Just having a good look at Ken, see if he knows it. I think Ken might be having that body experience right now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, um, what do you think, Dan? Are you going to go for it or do you want to pass it's it? It's a risk if I go for the, the answers in my head, so I don't think there's any point risking it if I'm not sure, so I think I'll pass to Ken. Right, Ken, we need this. In David Cameron's first cabinet as Prime Minister, who was appointed Home Secretary? Theresa May... Um, I think it was, actually, Theresa May. Do you want to go Theresa May, then? Yes, please. We're going to go with Theresa May. What do you think, Dan? That's what I would have said, that's Theresa what May. That's you would have said. Yeah, that's the answer I had, but I thought... I Let's see sure if you're right, Ken. Just as you've closed the gap is the answer Theresa May. Yes, it was. Well done, Ken, for the whole of Cameron's term as PM. Very nicely done, Ken. That's a great answer at this stage of the game. Where are you going to put the counter? Right, where are we going? Um, two, I think, Ben. Drop zone two. Fire it up. <laughs> Settles very nicely. Go. Top shelf going to go? Go. Oh, no. Not going to go, no. No. So no damage done, fortunately, Dan. But, Ken, you do keep control. It's time for your third and final question. 
on a classic London Monopoly board. Mm -hmm. How many properties have a name that end with the word road? If you're not sure, you can still pass it to Dan. I'm going to pass it to Dan. OK, Dan. You play I, Monopoly much? I've never really played Monopoly, to be honest, Ben. Okay. This is one of the questions I was dreading if it came up Monopoly, actually. I'm just going to have a... just pluck a number at the sky and just go with five. You got me five? Yeah. OK. Have you got it right, Dan? If it's five, you get the last counter. If it's Don't wrong, it. Ken's got one last counter. Is the answer five? It's four. Oh. It's four. Right, <laughs> Ken. Right, let's come go. Come down to this drop. Two, please. Drop zone two it is. One count are you going through? Nice and flat. Top shelf looks good. And it is. Is the bottom shelf going to go? One counter out and you're playing through. That'll do it. Well done, Ken. Oh, well done, Ken. <laughs> what a remarkable comeback. Seven across the tipping points. The last drop of the game separates the two of you. Let's put it into your bank, that £350. And that means with £1,900, remarkably. Ken, you are our champion. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations to you. Dan, I'm so sorry you've led all the way, yeah, but it comes game, down to man. that last trap. It is the game. And with £1,550, that means you have found a point. Of course, you have won your afternoon tea, Dan. Yes, thank you very much. Our pleasure. Thanks so much for playing. You've been great. Thanks, Ben. So, Ken, come back, Ken. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I can't <laughs> quite believe it. But you need to start getting your head in the game now, Ken, because yeah, in a few moments, yeah, I'm going to ask you to put this jackpot counter into the machine. Now, this one's bigger and better than all the others, because if you get this one out, you're going to go home with £10,000. Can Ken master the machine by finding its jackpot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. Ken is our winner today and has managed to get £1,900. Come back, Ken! <laughs> I don't know where you came from. No, no, I'm not sure I anyone does. I think if we go back to round one as well and the struggle you've had all the way yeah. through, but you know what? Yeah. That's the magic of this game, Absolutely. the magic of the machine. It can be a real leveller. You've got that wonderful drop and it's you that's here. You've seen off the others and you're about to take on the machine for our jackpot, Ken. Have you thought about what you might like to do with it if we get the jackpot counter out? I'd love a, a really nice holiday in Switzerland. Oh, I'd fantastic. Beautiful part of the world. It is. Fantastic stuff. Fingers crossed we get you the jackpot because it'll be a be really amazing. special trip. That'll Good be luck. Amazing. Thank you. Time to find out whether Ken's going to win our jackpot in a few moments. I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you want to go home with £10,000, just get it out again. Here's how you're going to do it. I'm going to show you six question categories. For each category, you choose to play one, two, or three counters into the machine. The more you play for, the harder the question will be. The more you win, the better your chances of getting the jackpot counter out. And it's as simple as that, Ken. Dead easy. Dead easy. Right. Where should we put the jackpot counter? I think one. Drop zone one? I think one. Yeah, it's full at the top. There's a mystery prize in there as well. Maybe collect that as we go. Yeah, that'd be, nice. be good, yeah. Light yeah, up one, yeah, please. Yeah. Now then, Ken, you're releasing this jackpot counter, so just be ready for this one. Yeah, nice. It doesn't hang about, does it? That's all right. Settles down nicely. Ooh. A lot on the top shelf. We can start shifting some of that money. It's all yours now, wherever it goes from, whenever it goes. We'll give you £100 for those two. Takes you up to £2,000. Your jackpot counter, nice and flat, right there in drop zone one. OK, let's have a look at your categories. Here they are. Music, geography, film, history, literature, food and drink. You can play them in any order. So where do you want to start for how many? Let's take them top to bottom. OK. Let's go for it. Music first, then, for how many? Three, please. Right, music for three, please. Which of these former X Factor contestants appeared on I'm a Celebrity and had a UK top ten hit with the song Sax? Ella Henderson, Fleur East or Leona Lewis? Don't know, Ben, to be honest. OK, do you um, recognise any of those uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. artists? Um, so I'll go for Ella Henderson. Ella Henderson? Yeah. OK, we're going to go with Ella Henderson, please. Was it Ella Henderson? Nah, Fleur East, it was. Fine. Wouldn't have got that one, though. OK, so not to worry. Job. Thank you. Let's get back to the categories. So we're heading down the list. Geography's next. Geography, please. Three. Geography for three. Speleology is the scientific study of what geographical features? Speleology. Lakes, Speleology. caves or mountains? Speleology. Speleology. I'd go with caves, actually, for some reason. No particular reason. Go with caves. Caves? Down please. the middle? Please. We're going to go with caves. Speleology. Is it the scientific study of caves? Yes! Whoa. Well done. <laughs> right, OK. 
Right. <laughs> I'm not sure how you're doing one. this, but I don't know how I got that one. You got it. Right. Jump zone one. One, please. Fire it up, please. Thanks, Ben. Okay, oh. so not on the jackpot, but let's see if we can clear that mystery over the top and a few others. Nice and flat. This one. It's a nice little gang of counts on the bottom shelf there as well. We're gonna go. Yes, oh. yes, just ship out nicely. Moving into two. Those two will go. Let's what? give you hundred pounds for those two. Okay. That's two thousand one hundred pounds in the machine. Okay. One again, please, Ben. Drop someone again, please. Oh, that's, that's better, isn't it? Ooh, if that goes flat, that is very nice. Need it flat, though. Need it flat. Be flat. Flat, 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 flat. Yes, it is. Hey. I think we'll get a nice squeeze there. It might slide around the left a bit, but initially it'll give it get a shove. There we go. Nice one. OK, we've got it moving. And another three across wow. the tipping points. So another 150 pounds takes us up to 2,250 in the machine. One again. Yes, please, then. Drop zone one, please. Maybe Mike's come back a touch. Move it. Throws all there. those four over. Mm. Oh. And another seven Whoa. across the tipping point. So we can have another 350 pounds. Very nice. The money goes up nicely to 2,600. We've got the jackpot moving as well. Wow. Great stuff. Right, let's go back to the categories. Okay. So film's next on the list. Oh, I wish it films. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, just go for three and just think. Well, the right answer's there. Do the answer's find there, it? yes. Let's go for three. Film for three. Let's, please, Let's do it. Film for three. In the Rocky series of films, what is the name of Rocky Balboa's dog? Liston, Daisy or Butkus? Have you seen Rocky? I have, actually, Great. believe it or not. Um, do you remember his dog? No, unfortunately. Um, no, I don't. I've got a clue, Ben, to be honest with you. Sonny Liston? Um, I would have thought Daisy, but Sonny Liston. 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 Should we go Liston? Yeah. Okay, we're going to go with Liston. Sonny Liston, a very famous boxer. Rocky is about a boxer. Did he name his dog after him? Is it Liston? It was Buckus. Oh. It was actually Sylvester Sloan's real dog. Was it really? Yeah. That he got in the film Bull Mastiff called Buckus. Oh, okay. okay, let's well, not worry about that. Let's okay. go back to the categories. That would okay. have been a bonus. You said you weren't massively yeah. into films. Yeah. History's next. Three, please. History for three. The Battle of Balaclava took place during which 19th century conflict? The Crimean War, the Boer War, or the Six Day War? No, I don't know, actually. 19th um... century conflict. Any of those oh, ring so. a bell with 19th century? Crimean War. Crimean War, I think. Crimean? Yeah, please. Should we light it up? Please. We're going to go with Crimean, please. So, the Battle of Balaclava, did it take place during the Crimean War? Yeah. Nicely done. Found the right answer. Give you three counters. Drop some one. One, please. Light it up. Oh, nearly. Yeah. Now, that might squeeze that black counter behind it a touch. It's flat. It is nice Ooh. and flat. But it's going to... Oh, it might. Let's see what it. happens, whether it stays on it. The jackpot's a bit... Heavier, so it rolls it forward. That's OK, it's moving forward. Just need something right behind it now, don't we? Take those three. Right. £150 for those three. Takes us to £2,750. Two more to go in. Drop someone again. Yes, please, Ben. One up, please. Hey. Yes, yeah, stop there. Stop, 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 stop. Now, we've got a big old gaping hole that we want to fill. Yeah, that will do. Let's slide that forward, get it right up behind the jackpot counter. Nice, okay. Mm. Nice one. One more to go in. One, please. Drop Same one. Thank you. Study. Oh, that looks good. Steady. That now, is that going to squeeze that it forward? Good. Come on now, come on now, come on now. Oh, oh. oh Ken. Oh. Just clinging to the top shelf. want to know, yeah. It's all but it? there. It's all okay. but there. Let's go back to the categories. So we have two left, literature and food and drink. Literature three, please. Okay, literature for three. 
What is the name of Viola's twin brother in the Shakespeare play Twelfth Night? Orsino, Sebastian, or Toby? Do you know Twelfth Night? No, I don't. I'm rubbish on Shakespeare, I'm afraid. I'm awfully sorry. Uh, oh, no. Which Sebastian? One feels right. Sebastian. You think Sebastian? Should we go Sebastian? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. We're going to go with Sebastian. See if you're right. Viola's twin brother in Twelfth Night. Is he Sebastian? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I don't know how you're doing this. I Absolutely. ought to apologise for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't need to apologise. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry for getting the answer, right? It's cracking. Right, drop someone. Yes, please. Let's do it. Thanks, Ben. Get that jackpot down now. It's very close. Hey, oh. Mm. Just go flat. I'm going to ride here. Up, up, up. It is down. Okay, hey. that should that should gonna... shove it over and it hopefully down, just tidy the shelf a touch. Yeah. Come on, oh. come on, come on. Oh, yes, yes, there you go. <laughs> nice one. And is the mystery going to get close? It does get close. Yeah. That's one counter across the tipping point. We'll give you £50 for that one. Takes Thank you £2,800. We're on the bottom shelf as well. Two more to go. Drop someone. Please. Light it up. Thanks, Ben. To really get one on that black cat to fill That'd the hole. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, just get it lined just up. Go for it. Ooh. That could squeeze the silver one in the right direction. Yeah, though. yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, Ken, go for it. Ken, go for it. Oh, wow! Oh. Two counters drop in. The jackpot's right there. Let's give you hundred pounds for those two. Well, that's two thousand nine hundred pounds. You managed to get a mystery prize as well. Oh, steady on, Ken. You ready for this? Where's this come from? Come You've won a Wave Swift portable hot tub, courtesy of Wave Spa. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, I yes. I mean, it's a portable <laughs> hot tub. What's not to love? It's a hot tub you can take with you. Take it with you. Absolutely. That is a dream. <laughs> that is amazing. This feels a bit like a dream right now. Thanks, man. I don't know where this has come from. It's crazy. Your jackpot <laughs> counter is on the bottom shelf. It's not just on the bottom shelf. It's right there. Fractions off the tipping point. Oh. We've got one more to put in, Ken. One, please, Ben. Drop zone one. Gosh. Yes, gosh. <laughs> oh. I wouldn't put it past that silver one. No, no. Let venturing that way? No, it's not going. OK, maybe take out a couple here. There's a few in two that look close. And we'll take them. Two more drop, another hundred pounds. Takes up to three thousand pounds in the machine. Look at it, right there on the tipping point. Came, we're so close. One last category. We have food and drink. Um, food and drink for three. Food and drink for three, please. Thank you. Relaunched in January 2021, the vegan food range Grow can be found at which UK supermarket chain? Co-op, Morrison's, or Tesco? Do you shop any of those? Um, yes, yeah, shop at the co-op. And... Shop at the co-op. No. Do you, and when you're in the co-op, do you not, ever see that range? I've, I've not seen it in there. Oh, gosh, I've got nothing to go on. Um... Hasn't stopped you till now, <laughs> has it? Yeah, Tesco. Let's, Tesco? Let's go for it. We're going to go with Tesco. If you've got this right, Ken, you found another <laughs> right answer. And we've got three counters to get that, just a couple of inches. Is the answer Tesco? Oh. It's the co-op. You're joking. Ken, it's where oh, you shop. Oh, it's the only one I shop at. Oh, Ken! Just eat more vegan food. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that. You've actually been there. OK, let's not worry about that no, now. No, let's move on. Cos we're out of questions and categories, but it's not over, Ken. I'm going to offer you one last chance to leave you £10,000 today. As things stand, you've got £3,000. You can walk away with that money right now. Or you could trade it, three final counters to put into the machine in the hope of getting the jackpot counter out. If you decide to take the trade, You'll keep your mystery prize, but nothing else has any value. So you leave with £10,000 or you leave with nothing at all. The question is, do you think three would be enough? I'd have to get one directly behind that black one mm -hmm. and another one behind that one. I'm going to chicken out and take the cash. Yeah? Yeah. I'll ask you one last time then. Would you like to take the money or the trade? Take the money. We're going to take the money. Well done, Ken. £3,000. That's amazing. Living on extraordinary luck all the way through and chances and instincts and whatever it is, it's been an extraordinary day. I can tell by your face you can't quite believe it.
<laughs> amazing. Three thousand pounds, though. Oh, please with that. Fantastic. That is amazing. You have played a great Thank game, you. but. To be honest, the way the game's gone, I wouldn't have put it past you getting this out with the trade. So we're going to play it out and see what might have happened I had you gone for it. I so, bet you yeah, attempted. Yeah, Everyone yeah. always is. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Drop one. Oh. Not sure. No, OK, not that one. Well, that might move it, wouldn't it? No. A touch. It drags Ooh. it forward. Drop two. Not that one either, I don't think. Might squeeze the black counter. Bit of lateral on that black counter. Ooh, oh, the silver one now. No. Oh, What's it going to hit it? first? Oh. Go! Oh. Oh. This was the third and final drop. Big. That looks good, doesn't it? It might even ride. It would have come down to this just when he needed one. It's riding! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Never have I seen a rider celebrated so vehemently. <laughs> but look how close it was. Oh. Amazing. So, Ken, very well done. You're leaving me £3,000. And let's not forget your portable hot tub as well. Have you had a good day? Oh, absolutely amazing. Absolutely fantastic. It's been very surreal. I have loved every single moment, <laughs> Ken. And we will all talk about this show for a very long time. Come back, Ken. What a legend. Well played. <laughs> Thanks ever so Congratulations. Much, absolutely amazing. So, there you go. Thank Ken's you. leaving with £3,000. Look how close that jackpot counter is hanging over the edge. But if he'd taken the trade, he would have just lost all his money because as close as it is, it didn't drop into the wind zone. He's happy, though. He's got a portable hot tub. Join us next time <laughs> when the fate of three more players will hang in the balance on Tipping Point. Goodbye.